What's going on today, guys? I am super excited to show you this one. This one is coming out this Friday. So 9-16, you'll be able to order these. I want to show it to you, want to get you the review, let you know I've been carrying it about two weeks now. A uh, little bit of education on the design. Uh, this is Ben Belkin's take on Tony Bose's pattern called the Lanny's Clip. He kind of took it, made it his own, hence Benny's clip. Um, mostly this clip point here, and then he also shrunk it down just a tad. So when I was doing a little bit of research for this, uh, again, maybe I need to rewind a little more, but uh, in traditional knives, it's fairly standard to have what they call patterns. Let's say if a modern knife like the pair of two, this shape and profile, this shape and profile is okay for other makers to make. It's ethical, nobody gets mad, everybody, you know, it's kind of a shared art form, if you will, where you don't necessarily see that in modern knives. If you see Benchmade copy almost this same thing, but maybe contour the handle, maybe they make it a frame lock, uh, maybe the blade has a hollow grind instead of the flat grind or something like that. You know, if they took it and just tweaked it and made it their own, that would probably still be pretty frowned upon where it's not in traditional knives. And I think that's possibly one of the things that makes them not maybe, it, they definitely aren't more collectible, but it's a factor in their collectability is being able to see all these different patterns there is a wealth of just stunning designs that are already available, and then you can tweak them and make them yours. So that's what this is. Again, shrunken down just a little bit. Uh, it still fits in your hand great. A little piece of wood there. Fits in my hand great. I can wear a large glove pretty easy. Great, great size. I really like it. So if you were looking for some specs real quick, close is 3.95 inches and the blade length three inches cutting edge you have 2.7 of course because you have a little bit of the blade kick there with the tang um, your blade stock is 0 0.12 inches and your weight is 3.1 again these titanium liners well frame it's more than just a liner the titanium frame really lightens this up. Um, this is the green canvas Micarta version, but it's also available in black canvas. There's going to be a toxic green camo carbon, and then there's also a very pretty blue fat carbon fiber. The fat carbon. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a link below to let you know where you can purchase them um but i wanted to get all that stuff out of the way let's do some size comparisons uh for the blade steel you're looking at m390 just like the k9 here we'll put it up against the k9 we will do a behind the edge thickness as well so there's the k9 there it is against the para 2 and you'll see about the same cutting edge. Here it is up against a number 14. GEC 14. A record scratch. You're probably wondering how we got here. This is a 15, not a 14. I know that. You know that. Let's just pretend it never happened. All right, back to the video. And I have this Tracy Laroc here, just for demonstration purposes. This is a custom slip joint, and I want to show you the fit and finish on these Jack Wolf knives are on par with this custom. So you can see when they're closed, no gaps. You love to see it, but you absolutely should expect it, you know, at this higher end price point. 
Uh, for the canvas McCarty, you're going to be looking at around 275 And if you choose the ones with the carbon fiber handles, you're going to be looking at it right around $300. Um, again, you're not into a custom slip joint for anywhere near that price. So here's what I'm talking about. When you hit this mid-stop, and you have that perfectly flush back spring. That stuff you see in custom knives. And of course when it's open. That's a beautiful knife too. Love it. Um, this is green canvas. This is more of a drab, not quite as green. But when this takes on the oils of your hand and stuff, it will get much darker and it won't look as light there. You can almost see it right there. It's been raining all day, so it is very humid. But you can see the green popping out of there. I really like Micarta for handle <clears throat> covers. I want to point out something too, how beautiful this blade shape is you have that very beautiful upswept clip on here with that swedge that just gracefully rolls in and then I love this slight little upturn right here or at least it visually looks like it upturns I'm not quite sure if it actually does I think it does looks like it does right I just love this pattern. I also love the details. Um, when this knife is closed, you can see that grind line just peeking through right here. And then you can see the nail nick and you can see the swedge going down. Meanwhile, this tip is not anywhere near proud. I mean, you can't even try to cut your fingers in there. Yet, they use, they put as much blade in the handle as possible. There's also no danger of wrapping the blade on the um, back spring. And again, that is the extra step. And I believe, I don't know, something that I've noticed about carrying these Jack Wolf knives and studying them. You can see it in the K2 here, K9 as well. This kick does not come down quite as much as it does in other slip joints and traditionals and you can see where that back spring inside there maybe can you see right there where it's like milled out just a little bit where you can see where this kick hits the back of the spring you can see that right there and then this is milled out just a little bit so there's no wrapping of this blade edge on the back spring which gives this a nice flowing look right here where if you even look at this see how this has to kick down way down here because then this kick will hit that spring and again i love this knife you can see the custom details how they have milled out a pocket in the liner there gorgeous knife love this one um Can you see how that's just, it's it's still a smooth look, but I think you can see how this is just a little bit more streamlined with how they have brought that kick down. Again, it's something you may not notice when you first see the knife, but after you live with it, carry it, use it, study it, you can definitely see it on this GEC. Again, and I, I love this knife, but I do think it would look better if that kick could be like that. You see what I'm saying? But then you would have a that possibly is wrapping the back of the spring and all that. I'm not complaining about these other knives at all. I'm just saying that that is also another little attention to detail that I love uh, what they have done with the design of this. Beautiful, thin, hollow grind on this M390 blade. I like that this grind line does not just go straight. 
it's visually more appealing, I believe, because it it sweeps up just a little bit. Can you see it? If you was to take a straight edge, it's not like this. It's swept up just a little bit. And then the way that intersects with the clip right here, I don't know. I just think it makes it look like a little more visually appealing. I don't know how to describe it. Hopefully you guys can kind of understand what I'm trying to say. Just what a gorgeous blade. I've got smears and stuff on it, but uh, I really like it. So these drop this Friday, 9-16. I will put the link below. Let's do a behind the edge thickness. Of course, that's one of their missions is to be able to pinch open them. The walk and talk, incredible. You can feel like a noticeable like snap thud. It's just very crisp. Another fit and finish there, right here. You can see the contouring. Um, the outside hardware here is titanium. So if you were ever so inclined, you could do a little bit of Anno, could get do a little bit of nuking or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Just beautiful. They cut great. I mean, the packaging again. Love what they have done. Let's get these out of the way here as beautiful as they are. And we'll show you this packaging. We will get a behind the edge thickness reading. Look at the artwork. Oh, if anybody was interested here. The Benny's Clip Green Canvas Micarta. I really like the branding. There's your pog. Little slammer cap thing. That's not the slammer, it's just one of the collectible ones, huh? This time we're getting a green polishing cloth. Microfiber. Like a seafoam green. Of course you have your sticker. And your leather slip. in here I haven't even opened this one yet there you go you see the difference um, I actually carried this canine in the slip that it came with you can see how it darkened up quite a bit from just handling it So I, they're gonna break in real nice. Um, behind the edge thickness, just so we can see, cause this one was crazy thin, even versus other traditional knives. I believe this one is as well. It feels like it is, we'll zero this out. Let's try to get a behind the edge thickness here. Up. Didn't have it in millimeters. Uh, 
That's crazy. That's millimeters. Really consistent. All the way, we just did the belly, the middle, the heel. Let's go ahead, if for anybody wondering what that is in inches. Let's do the heel behind the edge. Eighteen thousandths. Let's do the middle. About fifteen. And again, if I rock the blade just a little bit, it'll throw that off. And again, fifteen. About fifteen thousandths. Just incredible. I can't explain how well the cutting performance is. It's like using a straight razor to cut things. Yet with the M390, just a beautiful blade steel to go that thin. Um, carrying and using both of these. I, these are about the only two knives I've really been daily driving for the past month or so. Um, and it's just a joy every time you get to cut something with them. Um, I really like them. Not a shell. Again, I'm not being paid to say any of it. I don't have to submit the video to get approved to post or anything like that. I just really like sharing cool things with you guys. You guys know that. Just a beautiful take on Tony Bose's Lanny's clip. I like the little bit shrunken down. Um, I feel like this has a little bit more of an upswept clip than the original pattern. And I like how this grind line just comes up just a little bit, which means when it's closed, that peeks through. And it's just a little more interesting to look at. Kind of like a diamond that's been faceted. Beautiful. So that's it. These will be available until they sell out. And I'm not quite sure if they're going to kind of take the GEC route. I should figure that out. Maybe I'll report back to you in a vlog or something uh, to see if they're going to take like the GEC route. Once the knives are produced, then that's it. Maybe they won't ever do this exact configuration again. And probably like most of you guys, if you're just still hanging out 20 minutes into a traditional knife review, I just love knives. Traditional knives, modern knives, old school knives, vintage knives. I mean, I love it. What a wonderful hobby. Hey guys, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I've got a ton of more videos planned. And um, I don't know. We're going to continue to keep on keeping on. See ya.